Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Angel Eats and Chats. So tonight, you guys, I'm having lettuce wrap tacos, trying to keep it keto, but I do have half of a regular shell. So how has everybody been today? It's Tuesday. I hope everybody's having a good week so far. Um, the tacos that I'm having, I made ground chicken tacos, and then the lettuce wraps are leftover meat that I had made last night, so I'm just trying to get rid of that. I'm going to eat the half first. What? Get a bite. Now, how you gonna offer somebody you bit off of, right? <laughs> I'm gonna bite my food that I've been chewing on. Did you say it's the washer? No, I just hear it up there. I'm hearing a lot of background noise. Is the washer on? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to eat a little bit before I started running my mouth because I am good and hungry. This last thing I ate was like around 12. So I'm a little, I'm a little hungry a little bit. My coworkers, our coworkers um, today provided, they made Indian food for the whole office. I'm gonna tell you that food was delicious. That was some good food. We had um, chicken biryani and um, tikka masala chicken and veggie biryani and the garbanzo beans with the spices and stuff in it. It's almost mashed, that was good. And we had curry chicken that had potato in it. Um, like Panera salad, chicken, Caesar salad, and um, they have made chicken fajitas for the people that don't like spicy stuff. I gotta step up my cooking game, y'all. Because I gotta learn how to make that tikka masala. Like, I wanna make it from scratch. I don't wanna buy the sauce in a jar. I wanna learn how to do it. So, I'm gonna have to go and um, watch Grandpa Kitchen. You guys know who Grandpa Kitchen is. He's a gentleman that cooks, like, out in the, like, out in the, um, he cooks outside, like, I don't want to. I don't want to call it a jungle, but it's like the forest. He cooks out there. And his food looks so good. And yes, I'm licking my fingers. And on these, I just put sour cream, guacamole, shredded cheese. And a little salsa. Oh, and some tomatoes, diced tomatoes. Thank you. You're welcome. So, so you guys, one thing I wanted to mention that I wanted to say, 
I don't want anybody to take me serious when I'm joking around on my lives and I'm saying that I will punch people or hit people because I'm not a fighter. I'll defend myself, but I won't hit anybody. I keep my hands to myself. So please don't, please don't be offended. I'm not a violent person. Some people might say I am, but I'm not. And I like to joke around. It's just, I know some people are sensitive to joking about hitting or violence because they've been through it. And, and to those people, I'm very sorry if I offended you because it's not, I don't want to offend anybody. But I think about what I say when I'm doing my videos. And after I do my live or whatever, I think back to what I said and I'm like, you know, that might have been a little offensive to somebody. So I just want to apologize because I don't, you know, I know the society we live in is super sensitive. So and I don't want to offend anyone or make anyone feel like I'm a crazy nut that hits people because I don't. So that's that because I don't want to, you know, I just don't want people to be offended by me and stop watching my videos because they feel like I'm crazy and I'm mean because I'm not a mean person. But I do joke around and it makes me sound mean and so I, I probably should stop doing that. Hmm. Anyways, you guys, so um, this morning I was watching um, First Lady's video um, with the hashtag free to be me. And, you know, everything that she said was just so, so, so true. Um, just really everything she everything she touched on, I've experienced it myself. And it's unfortunate that we just can't be who we are, that people just can't let other people live. Like it's, it's always, it always has to be a, um, a negative thing about everything that people do. And it's like, you know, I just feel like people are going to be, if, excuse me, as a heavier person, if you're heavy, they talk about you. You lose weight, they talk about you. If you're skinny, they talk about you. It's just people just always have something to say. And so I've learned to just be who I am because people are going to find something to not accept you for. Rather, it's the way you look, where you work, what you have, what you don't have, your faith, your whatever. They're going to find something to be mad about. And it's just, it's just people. And I just feel like at this point in my life, I don't have to explain myself to anybody. I am who I am. And I, I, I actually love the person that I've become because I've changed a lot. And for me, I'm happy that I changed because I want people to know that I'm approachable. I want people to know that when I say I'm your friend, I'm your friend. When I, when I genuinely care about you, I care. I'm not just saying it. I'm not just pretending. If I reach out to you and say, hey, email me or give me your number, I'm not going to harass you. I just want you to know that there's an open line of communication and you can reach out to me and talk to me, text me, email me, whatever. I'm there. Because as a person who has a friend years back, well, not that many years, it was in 2014 that passed away. And I didn't know it was it was said that she committed suicide. Her family never said, but she was a really depressed person. And she used to talk to me and I would tell her, call me, just, you know, reach out to me. And she didn't, you guys. And um, I don't want to cry because 
it still bothers me to this day. But, um, it's just, tell people how you're feeling. When somebody tells you they care about you, don't not believe them because there's people who do genuinely care and they just want to see you be okay. And don't ever feel like you can't ask for help. Don't ever feel like you don't have an outlet. I'm, I'm a shoulder to cry on. I'm human. I, I don't want to cry, you guys. I hate to cry. I, I hate crying. And I've been crying a lot this last few weeks. I've just been a mess. So I don't want to cry. Um, I'm going to swallow the lump because I don't want to cry. But just just know that there's people that really do care about you. And, and nobody is out here expecting anybody to be perfect. There are people that think they're perfect. Newsflash, none of us are. Everybody walking the face of this earth is imperfect. Jesus was the only perfect being ever. Okay? He was perfect. So, and we we will never measure up to him. So people need to stop expecting perfection from other people. Stop judging people and putting people down. Stop purposely trying to hurt people because you're hurt. Talk to somebody about how you're feeling instead of bullying other people or trying to hurt other people. That needs to stop. And I've seen so much of that since I've been on YouTube. And I have to tell you, it makes me sick to my stomach to know that people are so hateful that they bully other people to the point that they quit. Or they bully them to the point where they don't even want to show their face. Every video they make it's either a vlog or they turn the camera away from themselves. or All because people have been so mean and so hateful. It needs to stop. And I feel like if you can't be kind to people, just leave people alone. Don't say nothing. Because too many people have committed suicide because of being bullied or being mistreated. And I feel like if you're in a relationship where you're being mistreated, rather it's a marriage or you're dating or whatever, you need to reconsider that relationship because nobody has the right to beat you. Nobody has the right to degrade you. And you need to reconsider where you are. And if it's a marriage, get some help. Both people need to get some help because obviously there's a problem there when somebody feels like they can put their hands on you and beat you to a pulp. You cannot beat people into submission. You can try. But guess what? People are still going to feel the way they feel. And I just want to say, if you're in that situation, get some help. If you're that person that's doing it, get some help. Because we don't have the right to hit each other. And we really should stop being so hateful. I have never seen so much hatred until I came on YouTube. I mean, sure, people used to say crazy stuff on Facebook or Instagram, but YouTube is different. It's very hateful. And it's like, why are these people so hateful? Like everything. And it's not just trolls, y'all. It is not just trolls. There are people who just make videos about other people just to be mean. They don't even have to. They just want to be mean. All I'm saying is the, the hatefulness and the meanness. It just needs to stop because what do you accomplish? How does that better your life? I often ask, like, how does that better somebody by attacking someone else? Because it didn't change your day. It just made you look stupid. Well, that's all I wanted to say about it. Just, you know, you have to just be who you are. And people are either going to accept it or they're not. And another thing that I wanted to say is stop. 
being mad at people because they don't agree with what you do. We all know, those of us who are new to YouTube, everybody don't understand it. Some people think it's weird. Some people think it's a waste of time. But they get they can't be mad at you for doing what, what makes you happy and what you want to do. And vice versa. You can't be mad at people because they don't accept it. But I will say, if you have to cut them off, cut them off. But I just feel like there's so much of people being mad because somebody doesn't accept what they do. Everybody's not going to accept everything. There's people that just aren't going to accept it and that's it. So you have to just focus on you and do the right thing and, and stop letting people dictate your life because at the end of the day, they can't save you. They can't save you. And honestly, most of them wouldn't even try, okay? So just keep that in mind. Those same people that's always got something to say about how you live, they wouldn't, they wouldn't come to your rescue. So don't even give how they act any, don't even give it any steam. Don't even give their hatred any, any steam. Just leave it alone. Mom, guys, I'm full. <laughs> I'm full, and I'm sleepy. But I need to go watch some videos. I need to be doing a live video. That's what I need to be doing. But anyways, you guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Welcome to my channel. If you're new or if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please do. But you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. Drop me a comment. Let me know how you guys are doing and, you know, talk to me. Let's start a conversation. So I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all later.